Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about how we can plot uh, our uh, samples data along with uh, the reference XRD data. So I'm going to show you two possible uh, ways for this. And uh, first of all, I have copied uh, my reference XRD data and uh, the data of my samples in the origin. So you have to set the proper x and y axis here. So it's the x axis of my reference. I have to make it the x axis of my sample. So select it and make it x axis. Then select all the data. And for uh, the first uh, thing we have to do is, as I said, I am going to show you the two possible ways. So I'm going to plot it the first way now. So go in this option and you have to select stack lines by y offset select this and you will see a plot here very shortly so it's here so you can see that the reference xrd data is not in the form which we want so what we have to do is click anywhere on the plot first of all we have to make the plot independent so that these both uh, our plots should be independent so apply but you can see that now they are too closer so uh, but don't worry we can resolve this issue you have to go to the layer option go to stack and here uh, you can see that the gap is automatically selected as 10% uh, what you have to do is you can select it according to your own choice so to do that we can make it individual and the uh, y axis is uh, checked here so it means that i would be able to move the graph along the y axis but if you uh, want to move the graph uh, like along the x axis as well so you can check x axis here as well but for the timing i'm going to keep it y axis because i'm just going to move it along the y axis so apply this click ok so the graph is been moved automatically so what you can do is you can adjust the position as well if you want so uh, uh, now it's the time to uh, resolve this issue just click on this data and they go to the line here we can see that it is uh, binary by the straight line so click no lines apply and you can see the data is disappeared so don't worry about that we are going to get it very soon so go to the drop lines and here i want uh, vertical lines of my reference data so click on vertical lines and uh, here on solid and you can uh, just like select the width just like up to two or whatever you want apply and here we go we got our reference data in this form and we can just like overlap our samples data with the reference data just to make sure about the peaks and the peak position and each and everything or you can position it anywhere according to uh, uh, your choice so uh, it's a first way to do this another way is there for this one you have to go again to the data i'm here again to the data select all the data so it's the second way to plot our reference xrd data with the data of our samples so go again to the plot option uh, and uh, in this time what you have to do is you have to make stacks so go to this uh, stack option and your data just click simply ok because there is no preview available for this uh, command so here so here we have our data so what we can do is we can just like uh, move so what we can do is So we want to make it uh, uh, the proper dropping lines so click on it again uh, uh, again we can uh, repeat the same as we did for the our previous uh, plot but there is an easy way to do that rather than going through the long procedure so what you can do is select this and come here and make it scatter now that it is scattered and click anywhere on this scattered plot like anywhere here on this scattered plot so you can see that is the point what you have to do is make it zero apply so it will disappear uh, again do the same go to drop lines go to vertical and i'm going to make it you apply and here 
Here you got your reference XRD data and is the data of your sample. So you can uh, customize the graph just like you can delete this or you can uh, uh, change the scale on your X and Y axis and each and everything. If you want more information like how to rescale your graph and how to make it more beautiful, how to beautify it, you can watch other videos on my channel. Thank you very much and if you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.